<laughs> it just sucks it was a little laggy there, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm over it. Anyway, um, so we're gonna make food that doesn't necessarily require uh, the stove too much. I, I'm gonna use it anyway because I'm crazy even though it's freaking hot, and that's fine with me. Um, so very, we're gonna use some stuff, but for the most part, it's gonna be a lot of cold cooking streams. So I'm ready to go. If you guys are ready to go, I'm gonna start with. Um, and by the way, I really want to eat shrimp right now, so I, I made. I'm gonna make shrimp ceviche, and then I'm gonna make Mexican shrimp cocktail from there. All right, little boy, I see that you're making hand motions when no one can see your arms. I can see it with the shadows. Oh yeah, you can, huh? <laughs> I talk with my hands. What can I say, man? I can't. I can't stop talking. I'm Mexican. I'm a Latina. We never stop talking. It's crazy. Hang on a second. Okay, so that being said, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out with uh, doing the shrimp ceviche because ceviche has to ceviche for a couple of hours before it's officially ready uh, to actually eat. Now, I'm crazy and I will eat this raw, but not a lot of people feel that way, that it should be like that. So, here is some, um, let's see here. What's the measurement on this, I wanna know. This is one pound, or almost a pound, of U, where the fuck did it go? U31 to 40 shrimp. So, every time you see a uh, shrimp, on sale, there's always a number to them. And you're always wondering probably, why the fuck did they put a U next to a number for shrimp? What is that? Well, it's a form of measurement. What's that supposed to mean? Well, it's supposed to mean because roughly this is, eh, about roughly a pound of shrimp. There's supposed to be 40 to 50 shrimp in here. I don't think that's the case. I really doubt that's really the case. But um, we're gonna take with a grain of salt. Every time you see like U20 or you know U1820 or U you know 5040, it means that for every one pound you're gonna get estimated that much amount of shrimp. Now um, these look, I mean I guess it could be. I think these are more like 30s or 35s, 40s, but maybe not 40, 50. But anyway, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use these for our ceviche. Just got it at the store today. Is shrimp count by size in US or amount? It's by pound, US pound. So, fish pickles. That's a really good name, fish pickles. I love that. <laughs> Puppy buttholes. Hello. I'm getting the I'm getting the really good names again. A long time ago when I first started streaming, I had this other dude. A really awesome name. Can't remember, but it had something to do with jizz. That's all I remember. Uh, I noticed your colorful message, sir. Or ma'am, hello, and welcome to the channel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, rinse out this shrimp, and I'm also going to take out the tails on these said shrimp. So I'm gonna do that right now. So uh, while I was at the uh, grocery store, I was lucky enough to grab shrimp that were on sale, that were already peeled and deveined. So I was really happy about this. I don't know if you guys remember the last time that I uh, had done a cooking stream with shrimp. Oh, <laughs> that's moist. Yes, thank you. Um, I don't remember last time, if you guys were here when I was cooking shrimp, um, I had to individually, you know, get rid of the shell and devein the shrimp myself. So, thankfully the ones that were already taken care of were on sale today, so I can cut down on a lot of time of preparing the shrimp. The only thing I have to do is just to peel the ends off. So look at that. I got most of that tail inside too. It's kind of nice. A little bit. So, first thing I'm going to do is prep my shrimp. Pull off the tails. I don't necessarily need those in my life right now. So thankfully everything's gonna be fine. Yay, I got here just in time today. I'm yours for an hour. Well thank you, Jilly Millie. I appreciate it. So Jilly Millie, I was just talking about how I updated all of my uh, graphics, so my subscriber notification, 
resub notifier are updated. Uh, my donation, uh, my donation thing's updated. Graphic is updated. What else is updated? Um, my hosting alert graphic is updated. Like I did a lot of stuff. My channel page is all schwanky, newish and stuff. So that's pretty nice too. Uh, what else am I doing lately? Uh, look at that. I'm grabbing like the tail, man. I'm on a roll. I'm grabbing the meat that's in the tail too. Look at that. So good. This is a completely empty shell now. It's kind of nice. Pro right there. Seeing your Twitter post. I was just here before you started and looked at them. Um, I think they're nice. Oh, okay. Yay. What, somebody thinks they're nice? I'm just kidding. I know they're nice. <laughs> oh, holy shit. Oh, Tally is now throwing me a bone. Look at this viewership. Thank you, Tally. You're awesome. Hello, everybody from Tally's channel. Hi, my name is Lulaboo. And, uh, save the shelves for stock. I am not planning on turning on my oven today because it's fucking hot outside. No, thank you. Ha <laughs> ha no. Yes, please retweet my, uh, thing that says I went live. I would love it if you guys did that. Uh, Lauren just put that out in chat. So please do that. So, hi, guys. I'm cooking shrimp ceviche today. That is raw shrimp cooked in lemon juice. And uh, we're doing a no, no stove stream today. Well, almost no stove stream. We're still gonna have to use a stove to make a tuna melt today. But um, other than that, should be relatively okay. So uh, we're gonna make shrimp ceviche. We're gonna make Mexican shrimp cocktail. What else are we doing today? Um, I wanna make tuna salad because I have mayonnaise that's homemade that I don't wanna waste. So I gotta make, I'm gonna make a tuna salad out of the homemade mayonnaise that I made last, uh, a couple of days ago. Um, it was 115 last week for us. Ah! Oh no! You're really the only streamer I watch, so it's not hard to keep track. Well, thank you, Jilly No, You appreciate that. Oh, okay, so no fish in the ceviche. That's good. I hate fish. Yeah, I'm not a fan of fish ceviche, so that's why I decided to go for shrimp shrimp. I figured I would go diverse and be like, okay guys, you know, here's ceviche. Because ceviche is traditionally, or normally at least, uh, base level ceviche, let's just call it, is normally made out of um, fish. Okay, that's like level one. I'm not a fan of uh, shrimp, uh, fish ceviche. I'm a fan of shrimp, I love shrimp in all its forms. And uh, we'll eat it often, if I can, if I could. Uh, so instead of making fish ceviche, I'm making shrimp ceviche because fuck fish, it's really boring. But if you're not that way and you feel like a good, um, you know, you're a big fan of the white fish, might recommend instead of shrimp, you can use white fish. Really awesome white fish. Um, like, I mean, I would kind of use red snapper. Halibut, maybe cod. I mean, it might be too flaky. Cod might be too flaky. And if you're uh, really desperate, you can go for tilapia. Tilapia would probably work as well. Uh, so is this just a regional thing? What? Sorry, I misexplained myself. Ours are still uh, pinkish when we catch them and peel them. Yeah, ours are. Well, they're, you can't you can't see them here, but some of them are still slightly pink. Um, Thankfully, uh, they will get pinker once I get the uh, citric acid all over these little guys. So that's gonna be nice. Yeah, it really depends on what species. These, um, you know, if you get the black tiger prawns, those things are like black stripes. We call them tiger prawns because they, they're stripes. Black tigers. It's really cool and they're very big and very delicious. White shrimp have a more mild flavor with notes of natural sweetness because they're found in areas with less salinity, like uh, brackish estuaries and bayous. If you boil or saute them, they'll soak in the nuances of the sauces and seasonings quite nicely. I have to agree. We're going to take our shrimp and we're going to give it some flavors. Well, not as much flavor as much as much as just acidity. We're gonna get our flavorings mostly from vegetables um, to kind of give this 
dish what I'm looking for, which is kind of nice. Pink shrimp are your cold weather species, peaking from late fall until early spring. Royal reds are often on throughout the year. It's kind of nice to know. I like this. Oh yeah, I copied that. Don't eat seafood, but I figured it would help explain. Oh, okay. Thank you for the helpful explanation, Jilly Nilly. I appreciate it greatly. Yeah, that's copy pasta. So anyway, this uh, ceviche is a re uh, and the shrimp in general is a regional thing, the way they are. They're all right. Low quality shrimp, there sh was shrimp on sale. And really, for a lot of people who are on a budget, that's what's really important right now. Let's see here. Sometimes, sometimes you don't have a choice but to work with what you've got. And really, that's what matters. Alrighty, so we're almost done uh, getting these ready. I'm gonna chop these up. I'm going to smother them in lemon juice and I'm gonna let them ceviche while I work on the vegetables for this thing. It's gonna be nice. I'm no shrimp expert. I know, like, I am always suspicious when she just knows right away the properties of shrimp like that. I'm like, girl, yeah, she helped me out with the, uh, uh, with the nuances for that, and I appreciate it. Thank you, Jilly Mill, you the best. Didn't miss it. Yes, you made it. We're making ceviche. Awesome. Alrighty. Here we go. It's already rinsed out, ready to go. I just gotta chop it up. I need a bowl. I gotta find a bowl. This'll do. So I'm just gonna put my shrimp in a bowl. Just recently uh, sharpened my knife. Yay. Hooray, sharp knife, always the best. Uh, give me one second. New cutting board? No, same cutting board. Uh, I have several cutting boards, so you might be confused with some other cutting board I might have uh, used in the previous time. I have literally like five cutting boards. It's a little crazy. But uh, that's how it is. That's how it goes, really. I just have a lot of cutting boards. And I like it. That's the way I like it. And here we go. Supermarket fish slash meat isn't always bad. Yeah, it's not gonna be crazy. This is well enough shrimp for what I need it for right now. The quality doesn't matter. The, what matters is that you guys learn how to make this to make this yourselves later if you do so desire. If someone's, if anyone's gonna die from the low quality shrimp you say that I have, it's gonna be me. No one else is gonna eat it. This thing's gonna have onions so Tally's not gonna eat it, which means I get to eat it all myself. Oh my god, yes! It's gonna be so good. I am a little greedy when it comes to my ceviche. I love this stuff. I love to eat it. I love to make it. Um, it's the best cold, I'm sorry, it's the best hot weather food to eat because it's so good. It's served cold. It's very flavorful and tasty despite being cold. Lula, I made red velvet cookies this weekend and they were so good. I saw that. That was really awesome. I got to find it on Twitter. Um, my hands are full of uh, shrimp stuff, so I can't really do it right now. But I saw that you tweeted at me that you made the red velvet cookies. They look really good. I'm so happy they turned out great. Kroger sushi. Oh, no, I'm not going to do it. Ooh, I will not do supermarket or gas station. Sushi, no thank you. Oh, it was this guy that made the bread. Anixio, that's awesome. You made the, what is it, honey? Oh my lord, what is it called? It was the honey French bread? Anyway, I got really excited this weekend because two people tweeted at me who are in chat right now that they had made food because, you know, the cooking stream. One made the uh, red velvet cookie recipe that I had made for the cookie giveaway on Thursday and another person made bread. They're in here in chat right now and it was really awesome. Oh, 
I made a red velvet box cake cookie once. It was delicious with white chocolate chips. Oh my God, that sounds so good. Oh man. The line, uh, the winner of Kroger rolls it fresh in front of you. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't have a dis- I mean, I have a Discord, but it's only for subs. I don't- I mean... Man, my sub perks are shit, but I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm gonna work on some good sub perks for you guys. Right now, as a subscriber, you get to ac access my Discord. If you have a question about cooking, you can always ask me on my subscriber Discord. Just tag me, at Lulaboo, in my Discord channel. And then I can always ask your que answer your questions for anything food-related you might have, or if you just want to play video games together. Um, I'm going to... Hey Lulu, what's up Greg's Game? How are you today? I brought my grandma some red velvet cookies and she was like, what the fuck is in this cookie? <laughs> what? Probably because of the red color, huh? Alrighty, so I'm gonna finish chopping this up. I'm not making a huge batch of ceviche. I'm just making enough really because it's just gonna be me. And that's fine. To be honest, it was a recipe from Epicurious. I added another teaspoon of honey than it said. Oh, that's awesome. You know, Epicurious ain't bad. I was saying it would, Lula, it would be awesome if we had a Lula community where we can uh, share recipes slash pics to each other. Yeah, I've been seriously considering making my Discord public so you guys can join in and, uh, you know, say what's up. I wouldn't mind. Can you post your ingredients on Twitter the day before you stream uh, your cooking? I'd love to follow along on my laptop while you cook. That is coming up soon. I'm going to have cooking with Lula coming up very soon. I'm just trying to think of a recipe that you guys would, that we would be able to cook together um, as a group. I want to know, you know, I need to find ingredients that are going to be universally found in all regions of the world. Um, I want to do something Mexican because, I mean, that's what I'm very comfortable with and I feel like I can get these, you know, people to get the ingredients on hand really handy right away. I don't know, I gotta think about it. Sadly, I can't do this. Wife is repulsed by the seafood smell. That really sucks. Seafood is amazing. I love seafood. It's my, it's one of my favorite things to eat is seafood. We should have an early stream sub train. Oh my God, that would be nice to show how much we love the food. You know, I wouldn't be against it, but <laughs> Woo, here we go. So we're almost done here. I got a couple of pieces left. I'm kind of keeping it on the chunky side here, on the uh, shrimp pieces, because, because, because I like chunky ceviche. I see the fact that you couldn't name them means that they're probably garbage. What the hell are you talking about? Dude, who's trying to start shit? Are you trying to start shit right now? Like, come on. Calm the fuck down. Stay cute, chat. If I actually have to start moderating this channel, you don't want to see that. Don't get fucking crazy in chats. Alrighty. Only seafood I eat is scallops, sometimes swordfish, and sometimes shrimp or crab legs. I get that. Yeah, really, right? You don't want me to come over with this. It's no bueno. We'll slap you in the ass with the broad side of my knife. Really hard. I don't care who anybody's talking to, don't get fucking mean in here. If I actually have to start writing up some rules for this bullshit, it's gonna be fucking terrible. You're not gonna like it. Alrighty. So quit arguing like freaking children. Alright, so. Let me watch this. to rinse this out really quick. Crab meat number one. Haha! <laughs> oh, that's alright. 
only need uh, crabs I enjoy is the legs. That's totally cool. All right, so I have to wash this and rinse it off because I have to use it again. Uh, we're gonna use it for our other ingredients right now. I gotta get lemon. So I'm one of those people who are really big fans of like high acidity levels. Like I love lemon. No crab cakes, I'm gonna have to do that later. But crab cakes technically you have to cook on the stove, so no, no crab cakes. This is a cold, this is gonna be as much of a no cook as possible kind of stream. Hang on one second. Uno momentito por favor. Oh no, I'm good, we're good. Okay, here we go. You know, actually I've had some tuna this past year, seared, I like it raw, not really. Okay, seared tuna is fucking delicious. Let me tell you, all right, so, I grabbed two bags of lemons, two bags of lemons because lemons, like I said, are very important in uh, ceviche, so. Ceviche is pretty much uh, fresh vegetables and shrimp that has been uh, cooked, I guess you can say, in the citric acid of the lemon juice. So that's what we're using today. That's what we're gonna use here. So before I start working on the rest of the vegetables that are gonna potentially take a long fucking time, I'm going to squeeze out some lemon juice onto the raw, um, raw shrimp. Hello, Lulu Boo and everyone. Sorry, having some PC issues. No worries. Um, what's going on? Only just turned up the volume. Hello, hello. I see, oh yes. Uh, so I made uh, improvements to my site. I have a new overlay on the top. Uh, I have a new channel banners on the bottom. And I have new notifiers uh, for my subbing and resubbing. I still need a really good follow email or a follow uh, graphic because the follow graphic I have right now is the zombie, which ain't bad. I mean, it's all right, but I gotta work on something better. So that's what's currently on the agenda right now. I am currently upgrading a lot of stuff in my channel. And uh, so I did a lot of notifier upgrades. We have a new emote, we did it. I got rid of Lula Tinkle because, I mean, I do, I do pee a lot, but that is no longer relevant to this channel. Um, let's see what else. I upgraded the onion crying emote because it didn't show the tears and I feel like we needed to have tears in the onion thing, you know? Oh snap, I didn't notice, it's okay. So anyway, uh, I have a new notifier for donations. I have a new notifier for I need to get my strainer so I can get out all these seeds without having to reintroduce seeds in here. Because I'm done. Alrighty, so more seeds. Hello, seeds. So anyway, if you kind of notice over time, the citric acid is going to cook the shrimp without putting it on the stove. It's gonna, the acid's going to tenderize the shrimp, leave it very, very squishy uh, while it's doing this stuff, so. I did this for, yeah, for new subs, you should put the did it emo because they did it by subbing. Well, I have a truck with the moist written in big words on the side. So I like the word moist better. Alrighty, so. Okay, so I uh, need to put the lemon juice in here without putting seeds in here, so I'm getting a strainer really quick. Yeah, my uh, new subscriber emote has the word moist in it along the side of the truck. And uh, the cat throw up emote is now animated when you resubscribe to the channel. And there is a new donation GIF. I made it. I just found a GIF online and I did a donation GIF. I'm gonna switch that up later. I just gotta talk to Z Corona about that as well. I guess this one didn't have any seeds at all. Go figure. Alrighty. So two uh, whole lemons should be enough for now. 
We're gonna have to add more lemons later, but right now this is okay. What's wrong with moist? I love moist. Moist is such a cringe word, but it looks awesome on the side of Lula's sub truck. Thank you. Thank you. Scumbag lemons, right? When protein loosens its structure to a strong acid, that's correct. The acid is tenderizing this, uh, this shrimp stuff that we have. Moist. Now I need a moist demoed, I swear to God. All right, so now um, it's already slowly starting to turn a light pink. Well, I'll just have you take a look at, you know, what's going on here. So it's already starting to turn into a light pink color. We're gonna revisit this um, in different stages so that you can see uh, the color change happen over time. It's gonna be less opaque. I'm sorry, uh, less transparent, more opaque. It's gonna turn into that pink cooked color very, very soon, it's already happening. So uh, I'm gonna let this go here for a while. Off to the side while I work on other stuff. Very important things like um, next stop going into the ceviche is going to be onions. I love onions. I love green onions. They're like my absolute favorite favorite onions. Love to eat these things. I love to put these on the grill and then eat them with like lemon salt. Mmm, so good. It's so good. Denaturization is what you're trying to say, uh, Jilly Nilly. I know this because I used to have to denature a lot of proteins for DNA synthesis in college. So yes, I remember this. My biochemistry degree serves me well. <laughs> so anyway, I used to denature a lot of protein or a lot of DNA into individual amino acids, and then make uh, my own D DNA chain in a PCR cycle. All right, so well, my message got cut off. Wait, what happened? Extremely vile, what's going on? Oh, holy shit. Thank you so much for resubscribing for two months in a row. I appreciate it greatly. Thank you, thank you. Woo. So, oh my God, such a cute notification. I thought it was cool that it got animated. So, yay for that. I, I just like it. So, uh, holy moly, chop. Yeah, buddy. I love onions too. I fucking love onions. Thank you. Show some love for Extremely Vile for the uh, resub that he had. I wanna. Doesn't even say how much. Wait a minute. But thank you, Extremely Vile. You the man. You the man. If you're a man, might be a woman. Then if so, I apologize. I've done that before. When I used to work at Costco, I. Uh, I had this person come up to me on the register and I asked them for their Costco card. I mean, you're supposed to ask them for their Costco card, verify whoever's on the card is actually the person coming up paying, you know, for their stuff. Shamud HD, thank you so much for the host. I appreciate it greatly. Thank you. Thank you. If I'm a woman, it's news to me. Holy shit. Good, good. I guessed correctly. I'm very happy about this. Alrighty, so I am a huge fan of the Mexican green onions. These things are so good. I roast these. I cook them in aluminum packets and then I like to cook them in aluminum packets filled with butter and lemon pepper seasoning. Thor, thank you so much for the host. I appreciate it greatly. Awesome, Thor is being awesome. Thank you, Thor, you're, you're amazing. I gotta go, I'll be back soon. Bye, Jilly Nilly, have a great day. I know, man, my crying onion emote just got a hell of a lot better. Salty tears down his face. I think it's perfect. Anyway, so uh, I was checking somebody's Costco card and I said, hi, is he here? Because there was a woman that came up to me and then had a man's picture on the Costco card. I'm like, hey, excuse me, is he here? And then she says, that's me. And of course, you know, me being extremely embarrassed said, okay, all right, got her out of the register. Have a nice day. You know, she I just, 
got her off the... <laughs> wow, that was embarrassing. Let's just put it that way. That was very embarrassing. More onion. Also similar story. My manager's name is Travis and she's a woman. People think she's a man all the time when they refer to her over the phone and have never met her before. Yikes. The usual disclaimer, this stream causes hunger ranging from snacks to raiding the fridge a million times. Viewers' diets may be compromised in the process of watching the stream. <laughs> Thank you, Key, for that. So anyway, I like to grill the crap out of these green onions whole. Right now, I'm using their flavor. They're a little bit, little bit, not by much, milder than um, the regular white onion. So, uh, actually, not milder. Probably, uh, probably in the same strength. I mean, crying level as a uh, regular onion. Never heard of Travis as a woman's name. Neither. I, I've never heard of that either. Oh no no no! Oh. <laughs> My face is raining. Stop! My face won't stop raining. Stop. Oh my god, this is bad. God, it's worse with the green onion. I can't even see. Ugh. My eyes hurt. Oh god, stop. Okay, uh, I need, a, I need to step away for a second. Alright, so in order to kind of make this dish uh, have more volume than it actually has, because there's not a lot of shrimp in here. One pound of shrimp, when you chop it up, doesn't look like a lot. So what I'm trying, oh god, my eyes. Uh, what I do is that I load up with a lot of freaking vegetables to kind of make up the fact that I don't have a lot of shrimp in here. And that's okay because I'm a huge fan of vegetables. It's always nice to have more vegetables in your diet. It's never a bad thing for more vegetables in your diet. Now if you guys haven't noticed the uh, shrimp is starting to get more pink, less transparent for sure. So anyway, we're gonna mix this in. I think I'm gonna put one more green onion in here. One more uh, bunch of green onions in here. And then we'll move on. To the other veggies that we need in this dish. All right, so still going. Tossing the lemon juice all over the new vegetables that have been introduced. Yeah, I'm gonna add another um, bunch of onions in here. Same thing, uh, the uh, lemon juice is going to break down all of our um, food bits in here, and that includes, you know, all that stuff right there. Excuse me, that, that includes the onions and the shrimp. So for me, that's a yay. Always rinse off your veggies. You don't know what kind of bullshit they sprayed on it uh, right before they, you know, did uh, right before they harvested. You don't know what kind of shit they sprayed on it. So, all right. Oh, I missed one. There we go. I need a hang on. I need a bowl. I gotta find a bowl. I need to find a bowl to put kind of my leftovers uh, extra stuff that I don't need. So, let's uh, cut off our bad bits here. Just the tips. Alright. Try not to cut off too much of the tip on the top. You want as much of the uh, onion to go into your food and less in the trash can. Shrimp, meat, vegetable, vegetable, meat, shrimp. Pretty much. Alrighty, so... Uh, just going to chop this up, same thing we did here. And we're going to put it in our ceviche bowl, our party bowl. Everybody's getting done up on the 
cutting board and then gonna go party in the bowl. So it's a party bowl. And I'm going to keep adding more of the uh, dark green parts of the onion because I feel like they can give good flavor and give good color. It breaks up the, uh, you know, the, the just one color of the shrimp. I always like very colorful, very fresh foods. Um, I'm really a fan. Love it. My favorite. Oh god, my eyes. Hang on, hang on. Stop. Oh, hang on a second, you guys. I can't. I can't do this right now. Working on it. My. Uh. uh. Okay, hang on. Okay. I can do this. I can do this. Anyway, there's still good flavor and still good edible portions of an onion here at the end. It's always my favorite thing to put in there. Great on potatoes. So this is also going, the dark green parts, also going in our party bowl. Right here, and I'm going to throw in another onion. Alright, so we're going to mix that up right now. Also, you use green onions when you're making food like chicken calguin, if you're familiar with Guamanian cuisine. Chicken calguin is a dish that's basically like, um, it's basically uh, ceviche of the chicken. So instead of raw chicken, it's actually, uh, it's actually cooked, uh, cooled down chicken that gets basted in the same vegetables that we use for ceviche plus coconut milk or coconut, pieces of um, macerated coconut actually go in there as well. Plus the basco sauce. Basco sauce is good. Another onion that looks like an awful lot of lemon. Yes, I love lemon. I love lemon. I don't even know how else to tell you how much I love lemon. This chat last time saw how much I fucking obsess over lemon. Okay. This chat knows how much I freaking love lemon. Wait, what did I say? Oh, uh, that looks like an awful lot like a lemon. That's what, sorry. Okay, I read it right now. Anyway, I'm gonna finish with this. Add the lemon juice. Um, continual, continue letting this the beach. While I move on to the tomatoes. We're gonna take some Roma tomatoes, or plum tomatoes as they call it elsewhere, and we're going to add it into our ceviche. She's also obsessed with making poutine. Fuck you, I'm not making poutine. What? No, no poutine in this channel. I will never make poutine in this channel. No way, no, I'm not making poutine. Nope, you can't make me. You can't make me! Actually, I think you can now. Actually, uh, just so you guys know, I also updated my Revlobot rewards. And uh, one of the rewards is now that you can pick a dish that I have to make next on stream, or at least in the future on my stream, is a new Revlobot reward. I also upped the uh, I also upped the qualifications for cookies. I'm so sorry for everybody who did not redeem in time, but now it's a higher cost to redeem cookies. Um, there is new rewards on the bottom end, like picking what dish I make for a stream in the future. Um, and I'm still thinking of more rewards. I need rewards for Revlo. I need rewards so people can cash in my Revlobot trucker mile with. Oh, is that shrimp? Yeah, it's shrimp. Can you have it like that? Mm, in a couple hours. Oh, yeah, it's raw. It. It's raw. Oh. It needs to cook in the in the lemon juice for a little bit. Yeah. Alright, so I'm just gonna toss the lemon juice all over. Shrimp is getting continually more and more opaque and more pink. Lemon juice is also great to 
to uh, bring sanitizing properties, no bacteria in here. Now with that lemon juice all over the place, citric acid, great for that. All right, cool. <laughs> what do they call Roma tomatoes in Rome? Just tomatoes? I have no idea. Probably just tomatoes. Plum tomatoes, probably. Alrighty, so next. Oh, I need two items. Holy crap. I'll start with the tomatoes and then I need cucumbers. Alright, so we have a couple more things we need. We need tomatoes. So here are some tomatoes. Plum tomatoes, we need these. When I bought these tomatoes, they were very, very green. And uh, I let them sit in my counter for a while. I'm sorry, in my fridge for a while, and they got a hell of a lot better, thank Christ. Um, so they have ripened it to a very, very bright red color. I am happy about this. Hang on, uno momentito, por favor. Try to center this so you guys can see everything. Alrighty, so uh, normal standard operating procedures for myself is to remove the inside seeds and inside guts of the tomato. So that we are free to use the rest. I do not use the inside seeds and guts of tomatoes, not my thing. So I am just cutting that out like so. I'm just leaving everything else. Tomato flesh, I guess is what you could say. A guy came to the store I work in and said he was a food poisoned by a cucumber. I mean, how can you be food poisoned? Yeah, that's weird. How do you get food poisoning from a cucumber? That is weird. Those are some beautiful tomatoes though. These are nice tomatoes, right? Oh my God, I love these things. Oops, I cut off more tomato than I wanted. It's okay. All right, so I am finishing this up. I'm cutting my tomatoes inside out, so give me a second to clear it out of the uh, inside guts and seeds, and then we shall move on. Usually you're supposed to peel the tomatoes too, but um, I think the skin on them will be fine. I don't think it's gonna be an issue with the skin. Alrighty, so moving on, doing it. My wife's uncle for no reason gifted me a knife set. That's weird. But at least you get a knife set now, right? I love knife sets. Um, I've been very picky about my knives, so I actually been getting picking up my knives individually as opposed to in a knife set block, and uh, which is fine. It's just you know I'm so picky about my knives. I just don't want to get a set. What if something in the set's not great? And I thought you know I was wasted money, and I don't like wasting money. All right, so here we go. There we go. Get all that nasty stuff out. Almost done, and I get to like chop the shit out of these. You can peel tomatoes. You can get rid of the skin on the tomatoes on the outside uh, before you start doing stuff with them. It will actually help to not have that skin removed from the outside, but we're not gonna do it now. Nope. I don't feel like putting a pot of, bo of water to boil right now on the stove for peeling the tomatoes. No thanks. I'm okay, I'll pass. Alrighty, so I'm gonna leave these relatively chunky. I really want these tomatoes pieces to be very apparent in our salad and not kind of disappear with everything else. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the best I can to kind of make these a bit chunky. Not cut them so small. Maybe like a nice medium dice will be great. Is what I'm thinking. Now the ones we don't like get buried deeper in the knife drawer. Never know when you might need a backup slash extra truth. You're right. 
You're right. Uh, hit exclamation point menu will tell you what I'm making today. What is the agenda and stuff like that. Um, in case you guys don't know, I have a food blog, which I have failed to update again. I'm sorry. Uh, I will update that soon. What else do I have? a food blog. I have a YouTube channel that I upload my previous uh, cooking streams on, so you have uh, the opportunity to check that out as well. Um, I also have an Instagram and a Twitter where I post a lot of pictures of food and other random shenanigans. Like when I go to conventions with Tally. Or if I go on a date with Tally. Or if we go out drinking with Tally. Just, you know, stuff. So most of the recipes that I make, I usually end up throwing it on my food blog. Uh, you can also see the, the previous play-by-play -play of my videos on my YouTube channel. Uh, if you need another visual representation for your uh, meals. That is also an option. Um, what else? I think that's it. I think that was all the sellout mode I had. Oh yeah, I'm bringing back the wish list soon. Uh, cause I'm running out of stuff. Cheap stuff, I'm running out of cheap stuff. So you guys are, you know, I don't want you guys to spend a lot of money on something if you are thinking about helping with the stream. Um, I'm running out of flour relatively inexpensive to uh, buy flour, so I'll just do that on the wish list. Uh, running out of, what else besides flour? There's something else I was running out of. I forget. Alrighty, so. Just almost done chopping these up. Like I said, I'm gonna keep them on a rough chop, kind of like a medium large. I kind of want the tomatoes to just uh, still be very apparent, like I said. I want this to be a chunky ceviche. Let's just put it that way. I don't want it to be overly, you know, small, too weird and watery. Alrighty, so. Done with the tomatoes, yay. I'm gonna work on cucumbers next. Shouldn't be too hard. Pies a little 100 bag, pound bag of flour. No! I really love the little new overlay. Thanks, Key! Alrighty, so now we're getting a nice trifecta of flavor here. So I'm trying to toss the lemon juice in all parts of the uh, salad here. I'm probably going to break out another lemon and squeeze it in now that I'm done with the tomatoes. It's looking good though. Everything is turning out just fabulous. It's a good day. Z Corona hooked me up with a, you know, upgrade to my channel. You know, things are doing really well. Do you add sriracha to that? Not sriracha, I actually add Tabasco sauce, not sriracha. That's going to last. Actually, any hot sauce will do. In fact, I can use a hot sauce that Cajun Express sent over. We can do this one. We can use a Louisiana hot sauce that I got from Cajun Express. Where is he? I don't even see him in chat. I guess he's not around right now and I feel bad that he's not around, even though he's in a package. Where are you? Doesn't matter, it's fine. Tapatio is my favorite hot sauce. I love Cholua sauce. I cannot find that up here. Cholua sauce is fucking horrible to find down here, or up here. I have to go down to San Diego to find fucking Tapatio sauce. It sucks. All right, more lemon, more lemon, more lemon. I think I'm gonna get a camera stand for the for the granite cam. I'm tired of using boxes. I need more room on my uh, countertop. I'll we'll get it later. Uh, 
Cholula is the best ever. It really is. Lulubu, have you ever eaten slash heard of Bice in the gas lamp of SD? Bice? No. I've never heard of it. Oh my god, Cholula is like, God, I opened up a door here with Cholula sauce. Yeah, Cholula sauce is the fucking best. Okay, I think that's enough lemon juice for now. Uh, I could chop up one more tomato. Might as well, it's a tiny tomato. Might as well leave it in here, you know? And I think that's in all the lemons I'm gonna need. So I'm gonna put in the cucumbers and that's gonna finish up whatever other vegetable I'm gonna need for this recipe. But you can see that the uh, you can see that the shrimp is definitely getting cooked. It's getting there. It's going to take several hours. So once I'm done with this, I'm going to stick it in the fridge and um, let it keep ceviching in the fridge for a couple of hours. It's one of the last things that will plate. There we go. So let me do this one last tomato since uh, it's just there. I just started working at um, Little Boat. It's an amazing Italian restaurant. I just started working at. It's pronounced Biche. Huh. That's pretty cool. Cholula, Tapatio, and Sriracha are always stocked in my cabinets. Oh my god, it's good, right? You can get it at Walmart. Oh, look. I don't. You know, it's funny because I don't shop at Walmart. I should probably go shop at shop. Go shop at Walmart. I go to Target. You never have it. I get very disappointed. <laughs> But yes, I, I should go to Walmart. I don't go there very often. Alright, bye honey. Are you going to the gym? Oh, okay. Do you go back to your trainer today? You go back to training today? Nice. So Tally has been on a one week hiatus from his trainer because his trainer had to go uh, do trainer stuff, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, he's back. So Tally gets to get, to get beat up by his trainer today. Always oh, nice. All right, guys. So I'm in my quest, in my epic quest to uh, try not to eat so many carbs in my life. Um, I'm gonna make cloud bread today, so that's why I'm gonna need the oven for getting cloud bread and stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a cloud bread next, right now, after I'm done with the uh, cucumbers that are gonna add it, be added in here. I'm gonna make cloud bread next, and then. Um, we're going to make, God, what else do I need? Cloud bread. I need to make shrimp cocktail, but that's gonna be super easy. So I guess I will make tuna salad. So everything looks really good here. Let's get the cucumbers. Going to Target for groceries is like going to Walmart to find a wife. <laughs> I w Lulubu, I was really astounded how the little red velvet balls turned into big cookies. I know, right? I was kind of surprised um, myself. It spread really well, so yay. <laughs> I have to try that Italian joint. I will be, um, well, if you're still around, hang on a second. Uh, floor meat, if you're still around during TwitchCon time at the restaurant, let me know. I would love to go over there and try it out. Uh, cause TwitchCon this year is in San Diego at the convention center. So it's going to be right next to the gas lamp quarter. So I would love to try out some new Italian food if, it, if you're still going to be around, uh, during the time of TwitchCon. Cause I will be there. Anybody going to TwitchCon? Anybody, anybody? I live in Florida and here only one uh, Albertsons in my city. Yikes, that sucks. Anyone know the small website that used to make hot sauces and flavored barbecue sauces and stuff? I don't remember. Let me go into Target for groceries. Is like going to Walmart for groceries? Wait, who goes to, wait, what? That's me. Oh, okay. Cloud bread, 
add the tuna melts. I'm gonna make Tally a tuna melt sandwich with cloud bread. I gotta know if we can still survive without carbohydrates in our life, you know what I mean? See if the cloud bread's gonna be enough. So that's my idea for the cloud bread, you guys. I wanna make tuna with the leftover mayo that I made homemade the other day. And I'm gonna make a tuna salad out of it. And then we're gonna take that tuna salad we're gonna put it in between a couple of cloud bread pieces and we're gonna make a tuna melt out of it. Let's see how it turns out. I love tuna. Bumblebee or tuna? Yes, bumblebee. Yes, bumblebee tuna. Well, actually, it's not bumblebee, it's actually Standard Brothers brand, but you get the idea, right? You get the idea. You got it. <laughs> Wait, what? What's cloud bread? It's um, it's uh, an alternative egg-based, protein-enriched, uh, protein-enriched uh, bread. I guess you can say. Uh, egg-based. Uh. Bread substitute, egg-based bread substitute. That's that's my best description for the word, is basically what it is. So anyway, we're gonna have that hopefully ready for Tally when he gets back from the gym. I'm really scared that this is gonna be a short stream. I hope that's not the case. Um, if it ends up being short, I will definitely try and think of something to make. Oh, let's see here. Do that in. We might have to turn on the oven at the end if it gets a little freaking, you know, hard to do. Or like an egg bread? I did Atkins for a minute. <laughs> for a minute. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, so uh, we're going to, you know, do our chop in here. So let's just do it. There we go. Peanut butter pickle sandwich. Don't do that. I might throw up. <laughs> Oh my god, a peanut butter pickle sandwich. Where have I seen that? That's from a kid's show, isn't it? Shit, I'm not sure which one. Alrighty, so I'm just chopping these up. Alrighty, so we're almost there. We are almost corn pleated with the uh, cucumber here. Peanut butter, banana, and mayo is good. You do, you do. Rose? Oh my god, what? Okay. Awesome. Well, the ceviche is kind of, okay, so the cucumbers are kind of big for the ceviche, but you know what, that's okay. I'm okay with this. I like big cucumbers. Giggity. Alrighty. Phrasing, it came out of my mouth before I stopped myself, so I just went with it. I just went with it. It's gonna be chunky everywhere. It's a chunky kind of deal. Nutella and bacon is great. I was drunk and had no butter, so I used Nutella and wasn't sure if it was good because I was drunk. It was actually nice and I made it again the next morning. It was delicious. Wow, that was adventurous right there. Peanut butter and mustard? What? What? Peanut butter and mustard. <laughs> it does not sound awesome to me. Okay, so ourselves ready here. Get 
our spears, spears on. Cool, so we have our spears. I'm just gonna gather them up. We're just gonna chop it all. Choppy chop. Little boo slayer of cucumbers, annihilator of onions, and protector of the food. Thank you, thank you. It's a great title. I will take that title. It sounds awesome. All right, so maybe, maybe there's a lot of cucumbers in here. Okay, maybe. Great idea for a food joint. No condiments, only chips, burgers, chicken sandwiches, roast beef, etc., and like 20 different kinds of chips. Wow. <laughs> okay, so I might have put a little bit too much cucumber in here. I don't think that's the case. I think it'll be fine. <clears throat> Where does the ceviche at? I know, right? Like. So I might have put a little bit too much cucumber in here. That's okay. I mean, it's still in here. So I gotta make sure to toss everything together. But let's be real here. If you were at a restaurant, you would kind of see the same thing. You would kind of see a smattering of the shrimp and more vegetable, just because it's cheaper from a food costing standpoint to do this. But I'm doing it this way anyway because A, vegetables are awesome. B, that's the way I like it. This is kind of my favorite way to have ceviche. But yes, you can definitely cut down on the veggies so it's not like this for you. You can actually have, get two pounds, get two pounds of shrimp in here with the same amount of vegetables and you're gonna have a really spot on ceviche. It's gonna be really nice, you're gonna like it. All right, so um, I need a bigger spoon. And I need salt. So we gotta add our salt. Macaroni on pizza is delicious if you never tried it. What, macaroni and cheese pizza? Tally used to tell me about the time this, this place in, um, I put salt in here by the way you guys, salt. I'm gonna put that hot sauce that we were talking about in here as well. Hot sauce. Anyway, we're gonna toss this together. Let the uh, salt distribute. Let the hot sauce distribute. And then you guys are gonna think I'm crazy, but I'm gonna taste test this. The thing is, is that I've had this stuff raw, where they barely make the uh, ceviche in and they like toss the shrimp in there and eat it like that without cooking it, letting it sit there in ceviche. Like that's my preferred method to eat it and hot sauce. Maybe I shouldn't have put so much of it. Hey guys, I'm almost done with my braces. Which is exciting. All right, taste test. Mm. Ooh, the hot sauce gives it a good flavor. Not overpowering. It was really good. Too much salt. You don't have to use shrimp for a ceviche. You can actually use a white fish, octopus, uh, scallops, clams, mussels, um, seafood, crab, you can use crab. Crab's really good. 
Um, so there's very many ob lobster, langostino lobster is really good in ceviche. Um, so you got a lot of options. Brace is almost done. Yeah, braces are almost done. The doctor's like, the dentist is like, listen, you're not doing so good with your rubber banding on the sides of your teeth because you're not putting them on, but you're almost done. If, you're, if you don't keep your rubber bands on, you're just gonna have to have the braces on just to have the rubber bands finish. And I'm like, no! So I have to remember to put on my rubber bands all the time. Otherwise, they'll just stay on and that's gonna suck. Taste test. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Have a little bit of a kick at the end there. Has a little bit of a kick at the end because of the hot sauce, and I'm okay with that. Yeah, most recipes you do use red snapper. You can use uh, tilapia, red snapper, halibut, um, god damn it. I, I've never tried cod, but you could use cod, but it, cod gets really flaky. Um, so if you flake it first and then put it in a cyst of each, I think it would work. Other than that, yeah. Mm. All right, I'm gonna leave it here. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge to let of each a couple more hours. Basically until we're done with everything else. Now I'm gonna show you guys shrimp tostadas with the ceviche that we made. And how to make shrimp tostadas, so. One second. So that's cloud bread. I'm sorry, that's ceviche. That's got a ceviche for a while. I'm about to move on. We're gonna do some cloud bread time. So I'm gonna need some stuff for that. I gotta reset a little bit. I've already made a mess and it's killing me. So I'm not a huge fan of ceviche, but it looks delicious. It is delicious. <laughs> All right, so just give me one second to kind of reset. I got to throw some stuff away. All right, so we're gonna need Oscar, the Oscar blender for this uh, next upcoming uh, thingamabob. Because we need to uh, meringue some eggs, like big time. Like we gotta, we gotta make some uh, white meringue happen. So that's what we're gonna do. So let me just clean this up so we can get the taste of seafood out of the area. There we go. Much better. Also, I corrected my spelling error that I had on my Moobot as well. That was nice. Relevant is now spelled correctly. So, uh, yeah, I finally managed to finish that. <laughs> Yay. Well, I gotta go close the garage door. Hang on a second, you guys. Give me one second. Hi, Z Corona. What's up, lady? Welcome to the channel. Put these here. 
My eggs that I need. Yeah. Excuse me, sorry. Oh my god, it's hot! I want to go close to the garage door outside, it's fucking hot. Ooh, boo boo, yay, I know, right? I finally fixed it. We did it! Swipe, 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 what? Okay, so, um, yeah, everybody got a chance to see the subscriber, the resubscribe emote. Um, she, uh, uh, you know, Z Chrono also did my overlay at the top. I still gotta do, I have to think about a new follower emote. I still haven't figured out what I'm gonna do with that. So if you guys need graphical work done for your personal Twitch channel, or you know somebody who needs graphical work on the Twitch channel, please recommend the Corona for your graphical needs. Z Corona, the only graphical contributor for Lulubu Gaming. Or I should say Lulubu Cooking Channel. Okay, whew. Yeah, our washer slash dryer is in our garage. It's freaking hot in there. Maybe not the best choice we made. Yikes. All right, so I got Oscar the Astro Binder. You guys are gonna need him. I gotta find my uh, whiskey samples. So we're gonna use the whisk attachments uh, on Oscar. The Oscar blender. Yikes, Texas. Woo! Yeah. Alrighty, so we have our uh, whisking stuff, which we are not gonna need yet because we gotta put together our ingredients. Not sure where you are in Texas, but I'm about, about to get rained on here in Austin. Ooh, well, rain's always fun. Alrighty, so. Uno momentito. Let me figure out where my. Um, Cloud recipe is. Alrighty, so we're gonna put our egg yolks in here. We're gonna put our egg whites in here. So let's get started. Gotta separate these suckers out. There's several ways to do it. There's the messy way. Just stick it in your hand. To let everything slide through. And then there's that whole, you know, putting the shells and or putting the egg yolk in between shells, which takes a little bit of time, but keeps my hands relatively egg juice free. Oh, come on. Come on. Oops. There's one. Remember, we cannot have any egg yolk in our egg whites, so be very, very careful about what you are doing, man. Do not want this to be bad. Alrighty, so. Lots of tech. God, there are a lot of Texans in here. Damn. Damn. Well, what's up, everybody? I was born in El Paso. So, what, what, whoop, whoop, Texas, I guess. I miss Chico's tacos like crazy. I want to eat Chico's tacos like crazy. Come on. There's another one. Alright, these here we go. These are large size eggs, by the way. So we are making it cloud bread. Oh shit. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Alright. So there's a little bit of yellow in here, and that's fine. We can fish it out and throw it into our egg uh, yolk part. That's not even a big deal. So let us do this and fish out all that yolk with the shell. The egg shell is the best way to fish out uh, yolk. Anyway, your um, egg whites will not meringue if there's any sort of egg yolks in there. So you gotta kind of take out as much as you can. So that's not an issue for when we start making this into a meringue. Should be okay now. Alright, cool. 
What's your judgment on liquid egg whites? I have liquid egg whites. They're pretty good. In fact, I can add liquid egg whites right now. I just gotta clean that little mess up that I made. For anyone that's in Houston, those taco places and stripes, there's a cute taco down on the menu you can order. It's glorious. Oh, what happened? What is the new donation, Jeff? Just kidding. More flower money. Thank you, Lauren, for the donation of $15. Oh, that is funny. <laughs> so that is my new uh, donation thing. Thank you so much, Lauren, for the donation. I appreciate it. It's nothing, like I said, it's nothing special. It's just something different. Because sometimes it's nice to have something different. You know what I mean? So thank you, Lauren. Let me show some love for Lauren. And everybody else who has subscribed today and resubscribed today. You guys have made it a really good day today. Thank you. Excuse me while I find my cream of tartar. Here it is. Alrighty, so we need a quarter teaspoon of a cream of tartar. Alrighty, here we go. Cream of tartar. Now, cream of tartar is a byproduct of the winemaking process. It is also something that helps make egg whites uh, meringue up and turn into that uh, nice stiff peaks that we like. So it's kind of important. We also need three tablespoons of cream cheese. Now, full fat cream cheese, very important. I have never tried cute tacos before. I love the donation shift. Well, thank you for donating. I appreciate that. All right, so here's one tablespoon of cream cheese. Uh, 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 uh. Two tablespoons of cream cheese. Uh, uh, uh. And here's number three. There it is. Stiff peaks, yes, we are gonna go for stiff peaks, you guys. Stiff peaks. Not right now, we're going for the egg whites first. Or egg yolks mix up first. And then we're gonna go with the egg whites, where we're gonna look for stiff peaks. Diggity. I've had Taco Bell before. Oh, poor, you poor summer child. I mean, I like Taco Bell too, but. So anyway, we're gonna mix up the egg yolks and the uh, cream cheese. So let that get all jiggy with itself. Trying to get the lumps out. Now I started with room temperature cream cheese and I started with room temperature uh, Oh my lord Jesus. Room temperature cream cheese and room temperature, oh my lord, I can't think of it. Um, egg yolks and egg whites. Because that is the best way. Uh, room temperature egg yolks and egg whites. Whoa, thank you so much for the donation. Holy crap, thank you so much. You are amazing. Give me a second. Juan Takoritan, that donation gift. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. What is this for again? This is for cloud bread. We're about to make carbless cloud bread. I'm gonna to attempt to make a bread substitute that does not involve carbohydrates in it. Something I want to add to 
this mixture here with the yolks is some salt. Uh, salt I think would be great to give it some sort of a flavor because this thing literally tastes like nothing when it's done. You know what I mean? It literally has no flavor. So I'm gonna try and add some salt in here to kind of give it some sort of semblance of some flavor. Okay, thank you so much you guys for the donations. That is amazing. I appreciate it greatly. You guys are pretty cool, you know that? Lulubu, could you put some like garlic slash herb uh, bam in there? Yes, I can. Definitely could put some garlic herb in here. Um, I'm not going to because I want to make some sweet stuff with it later. I mean, no, actually, no, I'll make some new, I'll make some new stuff later. Oh yeah, let's put some uh, hmm, garlic powder. Scrape that bowl down. That's right. Do I have? Do I own garlic powder? Yes, I do. Oh, that's onion powder. Here is some granulated garlic. That's a little bit, little bit of granulated garlic. That's enough. That's enough. I don't want to play with this too much. So we're making this a little bit more flavorful. So I'm kind of whipping this up until it's like uh, pale and ribboning, which it's doing right now. And I think we're done with this. Uh, it's time to whip up our egg whites so that we can uh, stick the egg whites in this uh, little section of stuff we have here. So I have to rinse off my uh, my blades. Ooh boy, I bet you could pack that full of sorts of different types of flavors. Time to have a plow cloud bread experiment day. I agree. I can make a lot of stuff with this cloud bread. I can make it sweet as well. Which I think if I add like lemon zest and sugar to it, it would be really good. Have lemon flavored cloud bread, sweet side stuff. Um, what else? Coconut, shredded coconut. And let's see, shredded coconut wouldn't be bad for sweet ones either. How about with banana? Oh my god. And almond butter? Yes! Oh my god. All right, so I'm just cleaning out my whisking blades because I'm gonna need these suckers to be dry so we can try and meringue the crap out of our uh, egg whites here. <sighs> Cause I think it'd be fun. I was thinking it would be an easy rosemary slash olive oil bread. I agree, rosemary olive oil would be something that we can do. That would be cool. <laughs> okay, so let me put this in here. All right, so our blades are clean. We're gonna put this off to the side for now. I wanna whisk this up. Like, remember what I said, this is gonna be a lot easier for us to do. We could do a rosemary olive oil thing on it. That would be amazing. The oil, I think, would have a problem. But I think if we leave the oil in the yolk and the rosemary, we fold it in after it's made, I think it'll be fine. So there is the crema tartar getting to work. Our stuff is starting to get made really good. It's trying to get really nice and meringue. Yeah, the oil would be a problem, uh, so we definitely have to add it in with the egg yolk, and, and we're gonna try and not commit, turn it into mayonnaise uh, if we add it into the egg yolk. And then just kind of fold in the rosemary with the egg whites later with some parmesan cheese maybe. Uh, you can brush it with an olive oil mix after it's done. Oh, right out of the oven. Yes, you're right. You are absolutely right.
All right, so this is like soft peaks, almost medium peaks. So this one's got, you know, it's not there. It's almost there, but it's not quite where I want. peak right there. That's medium. Uh, definitely a medium. Good peak! Yes, we need good peak. And this is what we want. Oh, we got it. We got it. Stiff peaks right there. You see that? It's not going anywhere. It's just staying in place. That is our stiff peaks. Barely into the stiff peaks. Cutting diamonds so stiff peaks. If only. If only. Alrighty, so uh, this is done. Yay. So we're gonna have to try out a garlic rosemary thing. So we'll fold in the rosemary uh, with the egg yolks and then fold it into the egg white mixture, brush it with olive oil when it's done. Maybe add Parmesan cheese to it too. We did it, yes, thank you. That's why I have the emo there, yes. All right, cool. Yes, I'm so excited right now. Hmm, pointy seems like the blender might be cold. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, so. Uh, Oh my god, Lulu Boo, that's gonna be so good. Yeah, I think Parmesan cheese would like over the top it a little bit, don't you think? All right, so we're gonna mix this together now. Uh, make sure it all comes in and gets nice. So I'm gonna add in the rest of our mix here. Remember, if you over whip the uh, egg whites, you're gonna have a hard time mixing it into your egg yolk mixture. So be careful. Make sure you practice, you know, responsible whisking. Don't get too crazy, okay? I can smell the garlic powder. Maybe I made it a little too garlicky. We'll see. We'll see. All right, so it looks like it's ready to go. Should I? I kind of want to add Parmesan cheese right now. Would that be weird? I've already whipped it. I've already mixed it up too much. It's done. I'll put Parmesan cheese to it later. I might have to try it this weekend. Uh, it's really good. Holy crap, gotta take a look on the bread. Bye, Nixio! See you, buddy. Luba wouldn't risk it this time. Yeah, I don't think I want to do it too. Too garlicky, no such thing. Well, I can smell it from here. Garlic powder can sometimes I can get a little bit crazy with, but not garlic garlic. All right, so. Oh, Jesus, do I have? Yes, I do. Okay, we're good. Woo! I'm like, do I even have a sheet tray ready? Yes. Yes, I do. All right, so we're gonna make our little pieces of our cloud bread here so that we can, by the way, you don't have to use just cream cheese. You can use cottage cheese. Uh, that works as well. Oh, that's good. Alrighty, so we're gonna make our bread here. And I like this stuff too. The person who gave me the recipe to it, I don't even think they're in chat. Their name starts with an M and I can't freaking remember right now and I feel really shitty about that. But thank you for suggesting it. I just don't want to keep messing with it, you know, because I don't want the bubbles to burst inside of our meringue. It's uh, kind of an issue. You're gonna be quite big, Cloud Breads, aren't you? You're so big. 
That's what she said. Jesus Christ. Um, I gotta stop doing that, man. I need a phrasing emo. I really should. Alrighty. So these cloud bread thingies are gonna go in the oven. And, uh, looks like it's gonna be delicious. And there's such a thing as garlic -y. I did it once when making spaghetti, got a little heavy handed with the spices. I think even Dracula would have looked at me and said, Really, man? Huh. Alright, alright. Going in the oven! Okay, so oven, it's baking at 300 degrees until it gets light golden brown toasted and so we're gonna wait for that what's up Sharon how are you today buddy welcome to the channel Three. excuse me sorry excuse me 350 degrees in the oven at the time that I put it in down to 300 as soon as it went into the oven middle rack and we're gonna let it bake until it gets into a light brown golden deliciousness I have no idea how long that's gonna take but we're gonna we're gonna figure it out right now so guys, I gotta run a commercial super duper fast. I got a couple of dishes I need to get done so I don't like overrun my kitchen with dishes. <laughs> Do not want to overrun my kitchen with dishes. So we're going to make, what am I gonna make next? Um, shrimp cocktail can still be made later. So we're gonna make our tuna, we're gonna make our tuna sandwich next with our homemade mayo from last time we had a stream. So tune in for that. But for now, I need to do some dishes, so I'm gonna run a couple of commercials while I take care of some uh, craziness. So, guys, give me like two minutes. I will be right back. I'm just resetting everything. We're gonna have a really good time. Cool? Cool, all right. Mods, exclamation point commercial, please. Thanks.
Okay, I'm back. Ooh, we need to get some of that green in there because that white balance is weird. Hello and welcome everybody, I'm back. Hi. So I know that was a little longer than two minutes, apologies. Not sorry, don't have that emote anymore either. Actually, no, I still do, I think. <clears throat> All right. You know, uh, it's part of the thing about the mods uh, job is that sometimes you're gonna get random ass whispers from people. You've had to abandon the channel, rightfully so. And then uh, they get all salty. Um, as long as they're dismissed, you should be okay. If you, find, if you find a problem, let me know. Before anyone wakes out about my language, I got that one from Lula. Oh my god, yes, I said dick fuck, didn't I? <laughs> my bad. I'm sorry if I ruined your children, everybody. But dick fuck is one of my favorite words. Alright, so let me rinse this out. We're gonna make a tuna salad right now. Tuna salad. Not very glamorous, but when it's a hot, hot day outside, beggars can't be too. I mean, when it's really hot as shit outside, you really don't wanna deal with it. I wouldn't wanna deal with uh, stove food. So it's one of those days where it's 113 outside, you have no, your air conditioner is busted, you know, shit sucks right now, make a sandwich, or go out to eat. But if you can't go out to eat, make a sandwich, or make a tuna salad, or a tuna melt. Cloud bread is coming out as expected. It's looking good. Lulubu, oh heavens no, it's fine. I laugh and ignore it while making fun of them here where they can no longer post. Two can play at the troll game, trust. <laughs> How does one dick fuck? <laughs> uh, it's a secret, <laughs> I guess. Actually, I don't think I'm gonna need the entire celery. I don't even know why I got two celery sticks. I could have, I only needed like a fraction of one celery stick. It's okay. So anyway, I like having um, normally, I mean, a basic tuna salad is like mayo. A basic ass tuna salad is basically mayonnaise and tuna. So I kind of like to add some stuff to it because I'm a freak and I'm a foodie. And I just, this is gonna be the way I like my food, okay? I'm showing you guys food my way, right? And then we're gonna make a fucking tuna milk out of it. So I'm kind of mincing the uh, stuff here. what I miss? Holy shit, what? Hello, Nod Fox. How's it going? Wait, what? Third, 113, Jesus, it's 74 here and I'm dripping in sweat. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hello and welcome everybody to the channel. Hi, my name is Lulaboo and I love to cook. And uh, today I am making food for when it's too goddamn hot outside to cook. Which is everybody in Southern California right now. And Texas. And Arizona. Except for the part of Texas where we're getting flooded, sorry. Uh, is that West Virginia? That's West Virginia. But it's freaking hot right now. So I figured I'd, I'd try and make food. Wouldn't be too offensively hot to make in a hot day. Yes, in honor of Dick Fuck, I renamed my band Hammer the Dick Fuck Dismisser a couple of streams ago. Nice. I love that. What's up, Mighty Goat Cow? How are you today? Welcome, welcome. So anyway, I use celery in my tuna salad, even chicken salad, turkey salad, so good. Anyway, so I use um, minced, what's the word I'm looking for? Celery in my, t 
tuna salad because celery gives a nice little crunch factor. Because you know, uh, tuna salad is one of those things that has a, you know the same oneness of texture. Texture-wise, it's the same shit. It's like this creamy, really you know one-dimensional texture-wise thing with um, it's, that's happening with tuna salad. That I don't like that. I like to break up the real big creaminess it has by adding some crunch factor. And so that crunch factor, I decided to add with um, celery. Also, since you know me, I'm a fan of the being of having everything acidic. I'm also gonna add pickles in there too. Come on. I use chips for the crunch. Yes, chips would work too. Pickles are way better. Hey, man, this is fresh crunch. And then we're gonna get like that, and then we're gonna cut the uh, mayonnaise with a nice acid punch of pickles. All right, so this should be good. Don't need this. All right, so let me put this in a bowl. You can use this bowl. Chips in your salad? Oh, me too. Chips are like awesome and everything. The problem is, Tally and I don't eat chips right now. <laughs> I can't have chips. Right. I'm reaching into the fridge to get my mayonnaise, but while I'm in there, I'm uh, checking out the ceviche situation right now. We're getting some really good pinkification. Of our ceviche. It's getting there. Oh boy, it's getting there. And since I have too much celery, I'll just take some of the celery and put it in here. Because I have too much celery in my other stuff, so. I kind of get a good way to get rid of the celery. Yay. Same thing at Crunch Factor. Ceviche needs Crunch Factor too. I will show you what they do to add Crunch Factor to ceviche later. Oh my lord, yeah, right? Look at this big ass, fabulous bowl of colorful ceviche. The colors are amazing. The smell is amazing. Texture is really good. Good flavor too. I had some hot sauce. But anyway, let's continue. It looks like you make me so hungry. Thank you, that's a compliment, right? Homemade mayonnaise. I made this on the last stream that I was live in. I made mayonnaise from scratch. It's still really good texture. Smells just fine. I kept it in Tupperware, so everything's really good with it. Everything's good. Homemade mayo, man. We're gonna use homemade mayo right now. Lula, you make me so hungry. Best compliment. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. All right, so let's get our tuna out. So today is a hot day. So let's do some cold food cooking, which is why I'm making tuna salad. Bam, there's our tuna. Gonna drain it. One second, I'm just trying to drain the tuna. Did I tell you guys about the time my mother gave me the same thing to eat for lunch every fucking day? I don't eat very much tuna salad and I'll tell you guys why. It's because my mom made me the same thing every day for lunch for four years. Um, so basically, my mother liked to give me the same meal and it was a pack of make your own tuna salad kit at, you know, 
Make your own tuna salad pre-made pre prep kit. So I had to sit at lunchtime and make my own salad. And then she would also buy the same dessert. So it was like a Capri Sun, make your own salad kit, and then like a processed pre-packaged brownie. And that was my lunch every day in school for four years. I am not a fan of eating tuna salad anymore because I ate that thing for straight up years. Now I'm sick of it. So when I make tuna salad, I make it count now. I make sure to make the best tuna salad I can be, I can make. Oh, well for me and my mom always made tomato soup. Now I won't go near it. Yeah, it's the same thing. Man, I can't eat that stuff anymore. I can't eat this stuff so much anymore. It's like literally, I can only have one serving of it and I'm done. So, um, I think that's why I became very picky with food, it's just because I didn't have a choice. And at the time, um, I had a, you know, a bestie in, a, in the school who uh, basically helped me, uh, like basically she was like a rank one hustler, okay? She helped me like give away that chocolate brownie for another dessert, trade the tuna salad for something else. We weren't always successful, but she always did help. Or somebody would just give me something, and then I would tr and then we play the game of does it taste good with tuna salad. So I ate everything with tuna salad just to see if it tastes good with tuna salad, because I was so bored with tuna salad that I just I mean I just started experimenting. It was it was bad. I had that fucking brownie with tuna salad. I've had muffins with the tuna salad. I've had fried chicken with tuna salad. That one was, it's not, it not bad. I think I'm gonna go make me some tuna sandwich now. I'll be right back. All right, see you later. All right, so here's your tuna salad. In the making. Checking, hang on, I gotta check on the uh, cloud bread. Cloud bread is uh, doing really nice. It's cracking up on the top, which is a good sign. One second. Alrighty. Oh, pickles. Pickles. Some kids did LSD, Lula. <laughs> Some kids did LSD, Lula did tuna salad. That's right, I did tuna salad. I was a heavy tuna salad user in school. Oh, where was uh, where was I for that? I need to make homemade mayo. My last stream has homemade mayo being made. Lula, you should use Costco Kirkland brand tuna. It's like a million times better than Starkist. Um, definitely. I haven't gone to Costco in a while, so I have to go back soon. Anyway, so we're gonna mince up some pickles so that it can evenly get distributed everywhere in our tuna salad. I love me pickles. I love me minced pickles in tuna salad. So good. No momentito. I handle this. I think that's good. So there's our pickles, there's our uh, celery, and there's our tuna. Dill only. I don't have dill. I throw in a bit of sweet relish. I'm not a fan of sweet relish. It's not my thing, so I don't usually generally put it in there. So. But I totally get that. I totally get that. Have you ever tried lemon pepper in your tuna? Yes, I actually have. Lemon pepper is quite tasty. I'm not gonna lie. Lemon pepper is pretty, pretty good. Alrighty, so let's get a couple of tablespoons of mayo in there. I'm trying not to go too crazy heavy on the mayo right now. What's up? Because I don't want to go, like, when you go with too much mayo, you can't really go back from that unless you open up another can of tuna, chop up some more celery. You don't want to do that. You don't want to go back. 
You don't want to affix too much mayo, okay? So it looks like we're at a good pace right here. No dill. I don't have dill! I have no dill. I just made peanut butter chocolate puppy chow with chocolate toast crunch. Are you serious right now? That's like a kitchen with no garlic. No onions and tuna salad. You guys put onions and tuna salad? Yes, I would love to have some onions and tuna salad. Let's do it. Oh, no, 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 I can't, no onions. Taoi's gonna have a tuna melt from me and so I can't have onions in here. He doesn't like onions, so they're not going in. All right, so. Okay, Steph. Mm, onions, I would do onions if it was just me. But it's not just me, it's Taoi. Pickle juice, going in. Pickle juice just went in. And I think I'm gonna go a little bit more mayonnaise. Not too much, not too much. There we go. Diced onions would be amazing, but I can't put diced onions in here, unfortunately, but that is a wonderful idea. I think if Tally wasn't gonna eat it next time, I would. This is good. Mmm, more pickles. I definitely need more pickles in here. I don't know, you know me, I love a strong acidity taste to my food, so I always like to add more of the strong acid or just the strong, you know, pungent, briny flavors to my food. This is my favorite, man, I love it. I love strong, briny, salty flavors. It's like my favorite. I don't like sweet relish, man, I think it's gross. I do love strong pickle taste in my tuna salad, same. Love it. Strong pickle taste is the best taste. By the way, unless you want to be licking the bottom of this bowl, don't put your bowl up here. But thankfully, I just took this one off the dish rack, so it hasn't been sitting in anything um, that will end up on the uh, cutting board. So there's, I'm thankful for that. It's a clean bowl. But if it wasn't a clean bowl, then you pretty much, and then you, you know, you put your bowl here, prepare food on it later. It's like licking the bottom of this bowl. So keep that in mind when you're putting stuff on your cutting board. What does it mean? What does it mean? Well, it's missing something. What does it mean? Um, um, red pepper flakes. In like a lot of my cooking, I like to throw in some red pepper flakes, so like a tiny smidgen of it, so that I can get a little bit of heat. I don't know why, I just wanna have red pepper flakes in everything that I eat. Some salt and pepper. Salt is already there with the pickle juice. So it, the briny, salty presence is there. I will put some pepper in there. Put some more pickle juice. There we go. some pepper. Let's put pepper. Yeah, prickles tuna and mayo have enough salt. I don't need to add salt, I'm adding pepper. Added some red pepper flakes too for a little bit of a kick at the back end of your mouth. Um, just a tiny bit, just like a pre little tinkly presence at the back of your uh, the back of your throat saying, hey, there's red pepper flakes in here, just so you know. Okay, bye. And then it's just gone like that. Kind of the way I like my presence of my red pepper flakes in my food. Um, yeah, this is good. We'll use a recipe for mayo. Um, one egg yolk, uh, one tablespoon of dried mustard, um, one, two tablespoons of 
lemon juice, a tablespoon of white wine vinegar, um, and one cup of oil. I can't remember the last time I've even used salt. Too much salt and stuff as it is for me. No worries. Uh, I assure you it's pretty delicious. So our tuna salad is done. Yay. Hey, some people cannot have salt. And that is okay. Hey, I'm gonna check up on the cloud bread. Cloud bread's good. Okay, maybe 350 degrees wasn't the or 300 degrees was not the best choice. It's taking too long. Bring it up to 350. I still have leftover mayo. What the fuck am I gonna do with this mayo? I don't know what I'm gonna do with this mayo. Still good mayo, it tastes good, good mayo. I had to try to make sure it was still good. I have to tell you guys, homemade mayo is pretty legit. When I go shopping and look at labels for salt content pretty heavily. Yeah, that's kind of important. There's like salt in a lot of shit, especially if it's been processed. Oh shit, sorry, give me a second. Uno momentito. I'll be right back and need a sandwich. Yeah, no problem. Alrighty, so uh, that was our tuna salad. What's next is our shrimp cocktail. Okay, I have to like keep double checking the cloud bread because now that I turned up the heat, I have to make sure I get it before it starts burning. All right, so the next thing we gotta do is we gotta make a shrimp cocktail. So shrimp cocktail is, is um, Mexican shrimp cocktail is a dish that's served generally cold and served with clamato. So our, um, I just have to show you, but let me tell you what this is. Clamato juice is tomato juice with clam juice mixed together. And uh, it's used a lot. Oh, it's uh, basically the base for Bloody Mary. You make Bloody Marys out of this. Uh, but you can also make shrimp cocktails from Mexico with these and I'll show you how to do it right now. First time making pork, uh, wait, I ate the leftover homemade chicken of chow mein and pork dumplings I made from yesterday. That sounds really good. First time making pork dumplings, but they were so good. That sounds so good. I want to make dumplings eventually. I seriously want to make dumplings very, very soon. So anyway, shrimp cocktail. I'm only going to make one serving of. What time is it? It is 3.18. I'm gonna have to try and kill some time right now. Mexican trim cocktail. It's so good, it really is. So I'm going to have to slow this down a little bit. Just so that we can spend more time together. I gotta think of something else to make. Maybe I can make a dessert. I don't know what to make for dessert. Hmm. What can I make for dessert? Stick around here a little bit longer. We'll see. Let's see how long it takes for us to make this, and then we'll just see the status from there. Because I just might clean up and then start streaming a game at upstairs. I don't know. We'll figure it out. A cold dessert. I need a cold dessert idea. What's a cold dessert? 
cold dessert idea. Guys, what do you guys think? Popsicles? But you guys won't be able to see the end of the popsicles. I could definitely make popsicles. I just can't, I mean, you won't be able to see it. That would suck. But popsicles wouldn't be a bad idea to try out. Flan, uh, I have to bake it, I have to bake flan. No bake Oreo stuff. I don't have Oreo cookies. I gotta figure out what I have in the pantry. Let's see if the uh, camera reaches all the No, the camera's not gonna reach all the way to the pantry. Pudding, can pudding be made? Cold? I mean, I have gelatin. I have gelatin. Um, guys, I can make chocolate pudding. Somebody find me a recipe for chocolate pudding. Some reputable recipe, a reputable, highly, uh, what is it? I have eggs. Okay, so um, pudding is a custard, and so you need um, you need eggs, chocolate, which I have. Uh, I have sweeteners. I think I can make pudding. Um, pudding can be made cold. Yes. Pudding hype. We're gonna make chocolate pudding. Um, but I need somebody to find me a really reputable, high review recipe of pudding. It's okay if you have to cook it on the stove. I'm okay with that. I'm okay if you have to cook it on the stove. Well, I can do that. I'm gonna be making a tuna melt anyway, which requires the stove, so I wouldn't mind it. Alrighty, so I'm actually gonna dice this down for the cocktail a little bit smaller than normal. Gotta have kind of a short, smallish spears for this. Make mousse, lower calories and lower fat. Yes, uh, mousse is good. I have gelatin, I think. I can make chocolate mousse. I'd rather make pudding right now. I'd rather make pudding. I'll, I'll make a chocolate mousse. I will make a chocolate mousse trifle in the future, and I think I will try it using cloud bread uh, instead of pound cake for the inside. Sweet cloud bread, like a sweetened cloud bread. Then we'll use chocolate mousse, which is lower calories, and regular chocolate pudding, and then we'll put some nice whipped cream in it. It'll be a nice trifle. We'll make a trifle out of cloud bread later. Probably cut soon. Hey, what's up, Indy? How are you today? What up, lady? Alrighty, so I have to set this up. So I cannot put onions in this shrimp cocktail that I'm gonna make because Tally's gonna eat this. And like I said, he's not a fan of onions. So no onions here. Well, I don't know if he's, I don't even know if he's gonna eat the shrimp cocktail. So I'm gonna make my cocktail with a little bit of like, tiny bit of, don't worry, I'll figure it out. Okay, so that's all the cucumber we're gonna need. Doing well, good to see you. Good to see you too, Indy. I'm glad you're doing okay. I'm glad things are doing good. Thank you, oven. Alrighty. So let me show you the cloud bread. Cloud bread is doing really good. Uh, there's the cloud bread. You see right there, cloud bread uh, finished up really well. I can't get the absolutely perfect round shape on there. It really sucks, but that's okay. So this is our carbless cloud bread. And uh, what we got going on right now. I like it. I like it a lot. Alrighty, so normally they don't use celery, but I need some sort of kind of a crunch factor for my shrimp cocktail. Sort of. What am I gonna serve it in? I don't even own a glass for shrimp cocktail. I'm not even, no, I'm not gonna do this either. No celery. Um, knife gets ruined when you scrape it against the cutting board. Don't worry about that, don't worry about that. I own my 
flat knife twice a day to offset that. So don't you worry about that. Right, so uh, what do I need? I can't use tomatoes, I ran out of tomatoes. I'll make some onions. Yay, back with sandwich. Welcome back, he chocolate cornstarch put it cornstarch huh does it have good reviews I'm taking a look right now so half a cup of white sugar I have that uh, three tablespoons of sweetened cocoa powder I have that quarter cup of cornstarch I have that eighth of a teaspoon of salt I have that two and three fourth cups of milk do I have milk not butter I have vanilla okay so do I have milk That is a negatory on the milk ghost rider. Looks like we're going to have to figure something else out. It's okay, I'll take a look. I might try almond butter. Um, almond butter is pretty good. I'm sorry, almond milk. Almond milk's a good shot. I can do almond milk. I saw the one on my Betty Crocker's website. Thank you, Chase. I'll take a look at it. So anyway, I'm gonna take some of these. Oh, I gotta peel some of this. Bad skin on top of the inside of here. Ah, oh, there's so much dirt. some dirt in here yum dirt I know right good afternoon what's up Cajun Express how are you today come on in buddy I was just talking about you earlier and um, about your nice care package again I sent your I sent your uh, requested picture in it is now in the mail as of yesterday um, and hopefully it gets to you in one piece to all those coming into the delicious stream hello hello bright wink dink bright wind dick how are you today Hello, Ghost Lancer. I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. How's it going, buddy? All right. So let me chop some of this up, and I'm going to leave it separate from the actual rest of the onion, or from the actual rest of the shrimp cocktail, just because Tally is kind of picky. God, I don't have tomatoes. What else am I going to put in the shrimp cocktail? Besides, I have no tomatoes. I have onions, I have cucumbers, and then the shrimp, and that's, I mean, that's it, isn't it? Usually it's more, but I can't think of it right now. I don't know why. Yes, I said dick wink. My bad. Alrighty. I know, this is the fucking onions right here. Oh, it's, oh God, it's happening. Happening. Fuck. I need a second, you guys. Oh, hang on. I don't like this. You don't like it. Okay, I just thought of a no bake. Um, I just thought of a no bake dessert. I just made it too. I just made it for, uh, I'll tell you the story of my dessert as soon as I am finished with everything else. Okay, so we have a nice little section of onions that I can use for later. Container to serve 
uh, shrimp cocktail with. I'm just gonna have to make do with what I have and just take it from there. This kind of sucks. I don't have the shrimp cocktail like goblet. These shits are served in goblets. I do not own a goblet. That's fine. Sometimes onions bother me, sometimes they don't. It really is a, like a crapshoot with onions. To, uh, I've picked the best two cloud breads for our sandwich. Tuna sandwich, cloud bread thing. It's gonna be these two right here. I will have to remember to stick that in nonstick so that we can uh, coat that in a nonstick spray because apparently my silicone nonstick mat is a liar and does not actually do its thing. Alrighty, so, um, oh, I need the shrimp. What am I doing? Okay, shrimp. Time for shrimp. Heinous. You do have 106 trucker miles. Congrats. By the way, sue them. I don't think I can sue a silicone baking mat company. Anyway, by the way. Speaking of points, I added a new uh, Trucker Mile points reward. So now you can use your rewards, your uh, loyalty reward Trucker Miles to uh, request a dish to make on stream. So that is now a reward at 7,500 Trucker Miles. I'm still trying to figure out other stuff uh, to do. Other recipes, other stuff to do. I wanna do a cooking with Lula. Not this Sunday, but next Sunday. I think I want to do a cooking with Lula. But I gotta figure out what recipe to do. I will give you guys the ingredients, the tools you will need, the, uh, I mean, everything you're gonna need, I'm gonna tell you exactly what equipment um, and, and everything you're gonna need for the dish. So I need to figure out what dish to make with cooking with Lula. So I need, I mean, I don't know what's good. Pasta sauce, maybe? Um, pasta sauce would be, you know, spaghetti, basically making like a spaghetti and, you know, pre-made French bread, like just buy the French bread and we'll make it together kind of thing. Or, you know, there's making Mexican food, like tacos with rice and beans. Like that's really easy to do too. Like what, is, like, what would you guys, borscht? Borscht. <laughs> I wouldn't mind making borscht, actually. Um, but if you want to see me make borscht, you better request it in the trucker miles because you're going to need it. So anyway, uh, I think I, I mean, I don't have tomatoes because I ran out, but you can use tomatoes. Um, I have a Clamato juice. What else is in shrimp cocktail? I forget. I don't even know, man. I'm losing it. I'm losing my grip here. All right, so I no longer need a cutting board. I no longer need my no grip thing. Ah, uh, what am I missing? Something is missing from my shrimp cocktail recipe. I got the onions, I got the cucumbers. I don't have the tomatoes. Um, I have the shrimp cocktail. I mean, shrimp, shrimp. God damn it, I think I'm getting shrimp.
Oh my god, Z Corona hasn't seen the sub emote yet. Oh, Z Corona, of course she made it, but I'm trying to say is that she hasn't seen it live yet. Somebody actually subscribed right at the beginning of the stream because they wanted to see the emo. Alright, I was in the fridge anyway, so since I was in the fridge getting the other shrimp, I'm going to just mix this up. I think I know what I'm going to do. So I have a packet of cook, package of cooked shrimp next to me. I'm going to use some for the shrimp cocktail. The rest I'm going to rest of the cooked already cooked shrimp I'm going to chop it up and put it in here. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Mhm. It's going to be amazing. We're going to have more shrimp in here, you guys. Yes. Mm. Mm. All right. So I stirred it up. Look at this. Look at how cooked looking it is now because of that citric acid anyway generally you're supposed to let this uh, ceviche in the fridge stirring occasionally for four hours I'm adventurous and I'll eat it in less than that so that's just me though I would recommend four hours all right so we have to rinse these off and peel off the, uh, the shrimp, the shrimp tails. We don't need them. I mean, technically you can keep them in your, in your shrimp cocktail, but no, I don't want to do that. All right. So I'm going to rinse off these shrimps. Excuse <coughs> me. <coughs> I'm choking on my own spit. All right, let me rinse this off. Let me rinse these off. Okay, so I'm gonna do the thing. do this so that we can have a nice whole shrimp and they're gonna go in the cocktail now these are already cooked ready to go shrimp so uh, no ceviche required they should be already ready to eat nice view bot wait what go fuck yourself buddy I'm being hosted being hosted by kind of a biggest streamer who has a lot of people so kindly stick away Dick face. Thank you. Alrighty. So I'm gonna finish up with this shrimp here. So that we can get rid of the ends and then just kinda keep, take it from there and keep going. Uh, come on followers, Lily needs to set a new sub today and Z needs to see the new sub truck. Yes, that would be great. I will love you forever. If somebody lets Zia Corona see the sub truck for the new subscriber emotes, I mean, I still love you anyway. I would love to see that. That would be cool. All right, so we're gonna take the shrimp. We're almost done. Shrimp, shrimp delicious. Yes. So how come some of these new streamers have these cheers thingies and some don't? Um, it's in a beta. So they're basically testing it out on very few streamers. Uh, the which ones they picked was up to them, but uh, they picked the ones that statistically or generally, I you know, from what I observed, this is, this is not actual fact. This is everything I'm about, I'm about to say is pure speculation. Select streamers with the high probability that their audience were going to donate to them or use the cheer option quite liberally. If you're trying to make a if you're trying to beta test something, you kind of want to guarantee or you kind of give, you know, give your uh, beta tested item a good shot of being used. So I would imagine that the really big streamers with high ratio of tipping are the ones going to participate in something or they're going to want to participate in something like that. Because let's be real here, 
maybe a medium small streamer are not gonna get as many tips as maybe somebody up in the higher, you know, in the higher, whatever. Ugh. Man, chat's on drugs today. Anyway, so we're gonna finish this and we're, we're gonna, oh, it's gonna be glorious. We're gonna showcase the shit out of some shrimp ceviche. We're gonna make our fucking Mexican shrimp cocktail and we're gonna, I'm gonna eat it with extreme prejudice. Oh, I love shrimp, but I'm allergic. Fucking sucks. Oh my lord. We have some wannabe trolls in chat. Cohen Towley have it. I tried it. I understand it's why Twitch is doing it. It's okay. I do feel PayPal is just as is. It's just as legit still. Well, that's the thing. Um, I can see a lot of large end streamers going for the uh, cheer system because it means that they don't have to deal with so many chargebacks. Uh, you know, being, I mean, let's take a look at, uh, let's, uh, you know, picture in your mind one of your favorite streamers who's big and gets a lot of fucking donations. I mean, a lot of fucking donations, like a lot of fucking donations. That donation fucking emote uh, alert pops up very regularly, that kind of streamer, okay? Now imagine out of all of those people that donate, a good number of them, uh, not a lot, but enough to fuck up your day are gonna dispute your uh, their uh, PayPal purchases. So now this big streamer who has, has to sort through all of his fucking donations to clear up the donations that they're going through right now with PayPal because of this bullshit. And it's just, it kills time. They have much better things to do, but they have to deal with these chargeback bullshits on a fairly regular basis. So, um, it's kind of nice that Twitch put an option out there. There were a lot of people who were crying in chat and in the Twitch subreddit, or yeah, in the Twitch subreddit on Reddit that says Twitch should have their own solution for, you know, tipping. They should just let you tip through Twitch. Well, they did it. And now a lot of people kind of get their panties bunched on it for many different reasons. Sure. But this is a solution people were asking for and people just still lost their shit. Um, okay, oh my God. So now there's an option so that streamers don't ever, ever have to deal with fucking chargebacks. Well, holy shit, some of them are like, fucking sign me up. Some of them don't feel that way. It's a personal opinion thing, and which is nice because that means you don't actually have to go through with having those things on or off. You don't want it. Also, um, me personally, I don't donate to streamers. And I don't subscribe very much to other channels on Twitch. I don't. And it's because of sheer laziness, okay? You know how many PayPal donation pages I have to fill out with my info, fill out to like confirm that I want to subscribe to these guys or donate to these guys? Every single fucking page. Now I have the option. I'm feeling frisky. Let me throw down 20 bucks on some bits. I'm gonna go make it rain in some random streamer's channel. So it'd be nice once that they have the, um, you know, the bits and the cheer system going to like more medium small streamers, medium small partnered streamers. It means I can go into random ass channels and I will, I will seriously be willing to give away freely more bits and in general just donate more money to streamers as a whole than I would to just sit there and individually donate to people. That's just me, though, personally. I've never seen one of these pink thingies. They're called shrimp. Um, they live in the ocean. And uh, they're very tasty when they're cooked. You know, shrimp. All right, so I accidentally put my cut shrimp in with my whole shrimp. I mean, I guess I can just cut the whole shit up. It'll be fine. All 
Alrighty, so this stuff's ready to go. Yo, everybody needs to calm the fuck down. Alrighty, so we're almost done. I'll have to break out the dick fuck dismisser. Nobody likes that. I like the dick fuck dismisser. But that's probably because I'm the broadcaster. Alrighty, so... Maybe a couple more. I'm cutting these shrimp into somewhat big chunks in thirds. I'm cutting these shrimp into thirds. And, um... Leaving them still relatively in large chunks. I'm actually going to throw it into our makeshift goblet of deliciousness for our food. Uno momentito, por favor. I just gave him a 24 hour ban. Thank you, mods. You are amazing, as usual. Appreciate it very much, you guys. Only the best mods in my channel. So thank you. Alrighty, so um, this is how much, this is what I'm gonna use for my shrimp. This is how much I'm gonna use for my stuff that I wanna use. All right, so I don't have a giant goblet, so I'm gonna have to just, you know, settle for this one. So I'm going to take, and you can't really see it. So this is already cooked shrimp, by the way, so it should be good to eat. I'm gonna stick my shrimp in here. I'm gonna stick some onions. I like a lot of onions. All right, cucumber. I mean, you should be thinking to yourself, this is a lot of the same color stuff. I mean, pink and green and that's it. Well, shit, let me show you. Oh yeah, by the way, shrimp cocktail, we're gonna use a clamato in there. A little bit of a, little bit of a piece of information about shrimp cocktail. Oh, holy shit. All right, a little bit of information about shrimp cocktail. They prepare it with ketchup. I'm not sure why. I don't know what the reason is. I think it's kind of bullshit. I don't like it. All right, hang on a second. There we go. So anyway, ketchup, a little bit of ketchup, not too much. Adds a little bit of sweetness because this stuff is really acidic. They add the ketchup to add more of a tomato flavor, plus um, soften up the acidity of the clam tomato juice. So that's going in here. And before I finish it off, I gotta add some lemon juice. You know, acidity for me. Oh my God, where's my lemons? Anyway, I like to add the tomatoes, or I like to add the ketchup in there anyway. So I'm putting lemon juice in here. I love lemon juice. Acid is my favorite. <clears throat> um, and then I'm gonna finish it off with the rest of the tomato. I feel like I could add more shrimp in there. Oh shit. Did I miss any small bits? Yes, I did. I missed a couple of small bits. Oh, bad. All right, there we go. Uh, a little bit more of uh, everything else. And then we're gonna stir that up. Oh, wait.
Confirmed Lou is a druggie. Yes, I am a druggie for shrimp cocktail. So we gotta mix up all that um, ketchup and lemon juice we just added in. Oh shit, sorry. And don't forget, this is all supposed to be served cold. So make sure your clamato's cold, make sure your cucumbers have been in the fridge all day. Make sure everything is cold because that's the best way to eat it. Oh, I mean, I forgot something. Woo! Would vodka ruin the taste of the shrimp? Mm, I would use tequila. If you want to add something in there, add tequila. Little mini shot of tequila should do the trick for your alcoholic needs in some Mexican shrimp cocktail. Okay, so shrimp cocktail has a couple of things. I'm missing something, but here's tortilla chips. So normally they actually use saltine crackers. Uh, saltine crackers are the number one uh, item used for, mm, you know, Mexican shrimp cocktail. I don't recommend it. I like tortilla chips way better. Just saying. Ugh, why are you, why you mad? Why are you mad? It's only game. Why are you mad? It's just game. Why are you mad? All right. So anyway, um, I forgot one more thing. Muy importante. Let's see if they're so good. Why are you mad? It's only game. Alrighty, so, um, totally forgot. We're gonna add some avocado in here. Fresh avocado always goes in last. Need some salt. Oh yeah. Uh, where's my spoon? Spoon! There you are. So it's, this stuff is served in like a fucking chalice, okay? In a really big fucking chalice. I don't have a big fucking chalice. This is the best that I can do right now, which is what I'm doing right now. Get that avocado everywhere. Yes. Oh my God, best oh, <laughs> sub ever. Yeah. Did you see it? Skirnor, Skyrnor. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. Welcome to the convoy, Mother Trucker. Two, two. Oh my God, I can't believe I didn't notice it. I'm so sorry. Big Storm, nine seven nine eight. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. Welcome to the convoy, Mother Trucker. Two, two. Hey, little boo, watch Tally La and tell my fiance about your channel. She has cooked me some excellent stuff watching you. Yay! Heaven's God, I'm so happy. That is so cool. Yes, that is my subnotifier. Is that truck with the word moist in it? I am very proud of that. Thank you. Alrighty. Uh, what am I missing? Something else is missing. I gotta take a picture! I gotta take a picture. I gotta take a picture. I'm gonna add some more onion on top for decoration. Alrighty. Moist. Yep, that's pretty much it. Alrighty, so... I'm going to take a picture of this really quick. And then I am going to eat the shit out of it. It's gonna be good. And I just gotta turn on my freaking Twitter. Hi, Twitter. 
Yes, hello. Alrighty, so shrimp cocktail. I gotta bring it out a little bit. Oh, oh, oh no, I'll do it later. Shrimp cocktail. Mexican shrimp cock. Oh boy, I can't spell cocktail. C O C K T A I L. There we go. Um, guys, follow me on the social medias at fail underscore lula on Twitter and Instagram. Please, you know, like and retweet this shit. Helps my stream out. Please. With tortilla chips. Alrighty, so that's the first dish. I'm about to do uh, shrimp pastanas after this. Yeah, shrimp cocktail with saltines are the best. Nigga Sammy, I like them with tortilla chips. Fuck saltine crackers. Just saying. Just saying. Alrighty, time to eat this. And then we're gonna do the other stuff. Where's my spoon? Hello, spoon. How are you today, spoon? All right, all right, all right, I'm ready. Need some more horseradish. No, no horse, no horseradish, no. Sriracha goes good with it too. Yeah, really, any sort of spicy stuff will go good with this too. All righty, so. I'm going to try this out. Ugh, yes. Mmm. I wish it was a little bit colder, but this is really good. Oh, well, I know what I'm gonna do. It could definitely be colder. It's probably because the Clamato was not cold at all. So I just threw a nice cube in there. I don't care if it gets watered down, I just need it to get cold. It's more satisfying that way. Serve this with the, clam with the clamato very, very cold. And the shrimp very, very cold. Must, you must. So let me try this again. Put that ice cube in there. Ooh. It's so good. Mm-hmm. It just needs the tomatoes, but oh my god, even without the tomatoes, it's really good. We fucking did it! Mmm! I'm so happy. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, that is so good. Everything tastes, everything tastes really well. All the flavors come out together. Maybe a little bit of lemon. If I have an addiction to lemon. This was awkward to hear for a while while I was in another tab. <laughs> yeah, I'm awkward. Pretty awkward. Alrighty, so you should see me when I have to talk to other, other big streamers. I turn into the most awkward human being on the fucking planet. Like my social anxiety all of a sudden shoots through the roof and I have nothing to say to people like Code Carnage is in front of me or fucking JP because you know he's you know telling him our friends and stuff but sometimes I just get to the point where I just I get so weird that I I forget I don't know what to say mmm mmm really good mmm Mm. But then, by the way, mods, it wouldn't be a bad idea to have two factor on your account. Um, there was an issue we used to have with Tally Stream. We had a leak. Somebody kept unbanning our people that we banned. Turns out. 
It was one of the mods that got hacked. They kept on banning with mods account. Hmm. They're really good. This is like the best for the cold weather. I'm sorry, this is best for hot weather. Because it's cold. Rest in peace, Clay, indeed. Alrighty, I'm gonna eat this last tortilla chip full of stuff and then we're gonna move on. I sent your package out, it's on its way. Hopefully it gets to you. I realized where you live and that might be a problem to get your package there. So good luck buddy, I hope it shows up. Everything looks really good here. So we're gonna chop up some of those shrimpies that we had and we're gonna stick them in here. Just so that we can have more to work with, you know what I'm saying? It's time to make the ceviche. It's time to make some tostadas with ceviche. It's gonna be good. So we're gonna take some of that cooked shrimp we're gonna put it in here. I don't know, my country's gonna have fun with those. What, it came from the USA? More money for customs, what? No, don't tell me that. Tell me, what, what happened? All right, you're just, oh boy. Well, we'll see what happens, buddy. Hopefully, it'll be okay. All right, so, here we go. Just chopping this up really quick. We're gonna add it to our, rest of our little area. Just so we can have more shrimp in our ceviche. Oh, I could make a hungry disclaimer. Message me the hungry disclaimer and I will add it into Moobot today. Actually, I could probably do it right now. But if you have that disclaimer handy or you wanna type up a good one so that's gonna show up every single time you hit hungry, let me know, I'll add it in there. Alrighty, so we're gonna mix it all together. So we have a little bit more shrimp. Oh wait, wait. Mm. I'll save this for a shrimp cocktail for Tally. Maybe I'll just take, yeah, that's it, that's it. One more bite of shrimp cocktail, give me a second. Mm hmm. Dang girl, that looks so good. There we go. Here you use this, okay. Hang on, I gotta bring it move back.
One second, you guys. Don't want any plastic foundation. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. Alright, sounds good. Uno momentito. No, I don't want to make a timer. Uh, only the mods. Okay, that sounds good. Only the mods. All right, there it's done. It's there. Test it out, you guys. See if uh, exclamation hungry pops up. Let me know. I want to know. All right, here we go. I'm bringing make tostadas. I forgot. Um. Okay, you can also put cilantro in here, like a large amount of cilantro. But like I said, Tally's got that, you know, cilantro tasting like soap thing going for him. He's not a fan of cilantro, so I cannot put it in here, but you can also put cilantro in here. Cilantro growth, see? Point made right there. Cilantro growth, gross to people. But for those of us normal people, I'm just kidding, who love cilantro, Please put it in there. It'd be so good. Alrighty, so time to prepare. Let's see here, I wipe down stuff? Yeah, I did. All right, we're gonna plate this uh, shrimp stuff. So, we're gonna have to wait for that. Uh, is there a way for Mubot to rotate through different messages with the same command? Would be cool to have a hungry command be something different at different times. Um, I'd have to take a look. So, there are different ways to make shrimp status out there. All right, there are different ways to make shrimp pastadas. Um, one of the ways is uh, people put mayonnaise on the tostada when they eat it. I don't know why they do that. I think it's to help the tostada stick to, I'm sorry, it helps the ceviche stick to the tostada thing, I guess. But um, I just never wanted to have mayonnaise on my shrimp tostada, but that is an option for you. If you like mayonnaise or want to feel adventurous, take those tostada shells, cover them with some mayo, and then go to town. <sighs> Don't listen to them, BB cilantro. I love you. <laughs> uh, wait, what happened? Oh, Lauren, oh, okay. Hang on a second, Lauren. I can change that, hang on. That's, oh, I mean, uh, sorry, Lauren. Hang on, I got this. Where'd it go, hungry, edit. Sure, I'll let you guys put it in there. Giggity. Uh, let's see here. Wow, there's Mubot regulars I can put in here? Whatever. Uh, let's see here. There we go, Lauren, you can do it now. Uh, okay. See, Mexican here are tostadas are only beans, meat, and cheese. Okay, well this is tostadas of the Baja region, okay? just. Calm down, man. It's what they do in the, you know, Pacific Ocean side, Atlantic Ocean side, depending on where you live. Um, you can add avocado or guac instead of mayo. Well, I was about to say that. Yeah, I need to put a timer on it. <clears throat> okay. I'll 
I'll put a timer on it later. Unless you guys are going to start being assholes. I just want to make this fucking tostada. Is that so wrong? I just want to make a tostada. <laughs> Food. Hello, <coughs> Excuse me. Hello, hello, Reach. Us assholes? Never. Yeah, I know, right? Alrighty, so we're gonna take our avocado here. We're going to open it up. Okie dokie. So I'm going to put slits on the inside all the way down the avocado because we kind of want this sliced. I mean, you don't have to, but this is the way I'm, I serve it, okay? This is how I do it. I scrape on the bottom, loosen up the avocado from the inside. Good, it's all nice and loose. We'll just leave it in there for now until we need it. Okay, so we're gonna take our scoop full of, uh, what is this, scoop full of stuff. Yeah, sorry, memory dump, I moved it up already. Cookies are gonna have to come later. Okay, so we're gonna add our ceviche right on top. Hey, eight. Okay, need a little bit more. It's good right there. All right, so I try to drain away as much of the water because a lot of water accumulates in the bowl. Uh, that's because the acid um, kind of taking water out of the cucumbers plus the salt that we put oh, in there also yeah. sucks out the water from the cucumbers. And um, so I guess next time I will leave the salt off until I'm about to serve it. That way um, we don't get this juicing effect and, you know, we'll keep the... We'll keep the water retention in the cucumbers and keep them crispy that way. Uh, that way, for future reference, I think is what I'm gonna do. Oh God, Ice Matt, Ice Is Matt. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. Welcome to the convoy, Mother Trucker. Two, two. Thank you so much. I appreciate the support. Please show some love, chat, to our newest member of the mother truckers convoy hello and welcome sir or ma'am there we go i have to say this is probably one of my favorite